This is Twit. Uh, HoloLens 2. Oh, it's here, and you both got to try it? I'm so jealous. I haven't even seen the first one. Yeah. Yep. Tell me everything. We get to try it again. We, we had already awesome. tried it once. You um, tried the second version once before, and this was the second yeah. time? Yeah. <gasps> yep. Tell me everything. I went to Barcelona to see it when they first announced it. Oh, wow. Is it cool? Yep. <laughs> it's awesome. What did you do in it? I, I I don't know what to ask. I just I have no information about it other than I balanced my checkbook. I, uh... Oh my goodness! <laughs> I wrote I wrote a couple notes in Notepad. Yeah. I don't know. Oh but... my <laughs> goodness! <laughs> See, this is what Microsoft. You need to get in touch with me because I will wax ecstatic about this thing if I get a chance to try it. So, other than balancing your checkbook, did you pet virtual dogs? Like, what did you? What can you do with this no. thing? No. So for my, you know, Microsoft is positioning HoloLens 2 and used to, at the end, position HoloLens 1 as more of a business device now, right? They still have things where they show you games and, and creative things you can do. But the real reason they are selling these devices is because they're finding ways to get companies who are in specific vertical markets to adopt them for, for their workforce and especially first-line workers. So it's not, they're not the demos you're thinking of, right? They're okay. not like petting dogs and it's stuff. It's not but, Minecraft but, or... No. Oh, but that's the coolest no. thing it can do. And yeah. it, but, they, you know, when we when we get to try it at Ignite again, mm. um, they, they did show us very consumer-y kinds of things. Like you get to hold, hold your hand out and a hummingbird came and sat on your hand. And then when you flipped your hand over, it flew away because it couldn't see your hand, articulated gestures of your hand now. Mm. So that was cool, you know. Um, I mean, what I, else that was we get a, to do? It was not meant to be like this is the no. This is no. what we use it for. It was it was just no. a demo to under, so you understand this new gesture that right. they have. Yeah, right. Now this I love is, the new gestures. The ge so the first generation gestures of the Hololens I thought were really hard to do. Like you know this gesture. I forget what they call this. What is that thing? Inchworm. Yeah. Like the, <laughs> uh, they call that the way you bump. select something. Like oh, it's, it's like hard to pinch. Rub. Do it. Yeah. Uh, but exactly. now you can actually have like the start menu show up in your wrist as a hologram and you can touch it on what? your wrist. And, yeah, that was cool. Yeah. I'm like, that makes way It really makes sense. It, you know, they have, they, they yeah. understand the position of your hands. So uh -huh. if yeah. you put your uh, palms up, you'll get a little, yeah, a little, like she said, a little start. You'll see a little hologram yeah. start menu on your wrist. So this is yeah. really like you are using Windows on your body. <laughs> it's like, is that the point is yeah. to, to be able to experience <laughs> yeah. windows in a different way? And, and two, it's like a, it's a good tool for training and, uh, yeah. the, the, some of the examples have been given are architecture or, or in yep. building and things like that, where you need to look out and see, okay, I know that I need to install this pipe here that goes to this. There's, yeah. th there's going to be a, a, a bunch of application types that are very similar that have nothing to do with each other as far as the, you know, the types of businesses they are. Uh -huh. So architecture is a great example or people who are making a car, right? So if you're a car designer in the past or today, most of them actually make these giant clay models because you want this kind of 3D thing. You can walk around and see how pieces fit and everything. Uh -huh. But of course, with holograms, you can make that same thing, but you can explode it out. Or whatever the businesses are. but So you as the creator, you have the HoloLens because you're creating. But the people around, when you want to show it to other people, you don't have to buy a $3,500 HoloLens for everybody. They can use their smartphone. They can use an iPad or a computer or whatever because these things all have AR platforms built into them as well. And there's a viewing experience, which makes plenty of sense. And if you've used it on a phone or an iPad, or you, you know how that works. You can... Uh, I have my, in my phone, I can make it look like there's a stormtrooper standing over the middle of the right. corner of the room or whatever. When I hold the phone up, I can see it. And so same thing. It's like it's in 3D space. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I think that or I, I should say I know that because these things have happened since they announced the original Hollands. Like the, the markets have have occurred, <laughs> you know, that <laughs> that need this kind yeah. of tool. Like Microsoft, when they first came out with it, they were like, well, we think people will find this useful, but we don't know how they will find it useful. We don't know what markets will embrace this. And now. I think we have a better idea um, of how that's going to work in the real world. So it's it's really exciting. And, and even V1, which, you know, had a had a very bad uh, – it was – Greg uh, Sullivan from Microsoft described it as a 16 by 9, um, like a frame, a field of view. Mm -hmm. The holograms only appear here. So even though you can see out, you know, like you can see your peripheral vision – the, ho the holograms only appeared in this really small kind of nail, uh, mail slot type area. I see. So if balls bounced around, they would disappear from your vision as they went outside of that area. Which sort of ruins so the now illusion. It's, 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, so now it's much bigger. It's three to three x. Yeah. I think you said, um, and it uh, the central magic of uh, of Hololens has always been there since V one, it, it, which is there's a, a virtual object, a hologram they call it, sitting on a like say it's sitting on a table or it's a ball. Maybe it rolls on the table and bounces off, and it it fools your brain into thinking that it's there. Mm-hmm. Not just that it's there floating in space, but it, that it's realistically interacting with the actual environment. Wow. It makes you, it fools you. Like it's real. It seems real to your brain. That's yeah. always been there. But now it's more of a vista view, you know, the, the, and that the puts other it good over thing, the top. The other good thing is the hardware itself is, is changed, oh, yeah. right? So, yeah. um, before, when you wore HoloLens one, it just felt like you had this giant helmet on, almost like a motorcycle helmet for me. <laughs> and yeah, and then now it you just can put it on your head. You can tighten the clip on the back. It sits really nicely on your head, even if you have glasses. It's it accommodates right. them, and the visor flips up. Like all these little things they did. If it's, it's lighter, it's just way easier to wear. And I, I don't know, people who, who remember when I talked on Windows Weekly about having a vision issue with it when I tried HoloLens 2 for the first time, that originally Microsoft thought was because of my glasses because I wear progressive lenses. Oh. Um, this time, it didn't happen. And I think the reason it didn't was they really tightened it more on my head so it didn't slide. <laughs> I see. <Right. laughs> they were like, Just yeah, keep, keep turning <laughs> that crank. Are you in pain yet? Hold on. Yeah. Right. Hold on. So it, when she it, cries, it's not going to work like, unless it hurts. Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> it's got to hurt just a little, and that's how you know you've got right. it. Perfect also, you no, but that, it works so much better. It, wor- it worked for me so much better. Oh, this that's time. good. I'm yeah. Glad. Yeah. Yeah. So I think, you know, between February and today, they've added a couple of new features. Mary Jo mentioned the the palm gestures, which is really cool. Yeah. Uh, and then, of course, you get the little start, uh, the, which is it's just when you see it, you're like, yes, uh, this it's so obvious and wonderful when you see how well, you know, it just really works well. Um, but they also added the ability to uh, grab a hologram and walk around with it. And so they have this, they had a, it was just a demo app. You would never really use this in real life, but. You know, they say, you know, draw a, a squiggle in, in front of you. And I'm waiting for like an app to appear. Mm-hmm. And finally he said, what are you doing? I said, well, I'm waiting for the the app. And he says, no, just draw in the space. And so you, and this 3D <laughs> squiggly looking thing appears. Graffiti kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. Cool. it has depth, right? It's not a 2D drawing. It's if you move your mm-hmm. hand in and out, it, it's like a spaghetti in space almost. You know? Yeah. But then you can reach up and you can grab a piece of the spaghetti. And you can move it. You can move it up and down and around. You can walk with it. You can walk over to the other side of the room and bring it with you. Oh you my can goodness! Zoom in and out. You know, and it, in in my case, like what I thought of immediately was uh, kind of a, like a medical app. You could almost imagine anatomy. Like a birth, oh my goodness! Yeah, a body yeah. Where you could like you know, pull the intestines yeah. out or something and look inside and see what's underneath or whatever. <laughs> uh, it was. It's really impressive. It was, it was good. Yeah, it was. It was definitely a big jump between one and two. Holland's one. Yeah. And two. Oh yeah, for sure. 